the knowledge types the ancient believed that there were two distinct ways to gain knowledge para and apara para is the knowledge that requires no learning and qualification it is beyond effort and is bestowed by the benevolence of the guru is paravidya aparavidya is that which requires perseverance that which is enumerated and studied under a preceptor it is divided into shruti and smriti that which was heard perceived by the rishis in deep states of meditation and brought into the realm of expression this knowledge was passed down to the oral tradition shruti is the downloaded knowledge from the cosmos from the consciousness that is shruti smriti is that which is remembered comes from the experience of these mantra drashtas seeds of knowledge and is their interpreters of the knowledge the four vedas the four upavedas six vedangas and six upangas or darshanas constitute the shruti whereas the puranas itihasas and agamas constitute the smriti the vedas are four in number rigveda yajurveda samaveda atharvana veda rigveda means rig rig means to shine it's a collection of 1028 vedic sanskrit hymns with 10600 verses in 10 mandalas it has verses about the principles and creation of universe yajurveda yajur means prose mantra the oldest layer consists about 1875 hymns which are mostly in prose form the yajurveda is also broadly divided into the krishna yajurveda and the shukla yajurveda it talks about the ritualistic aspect samaveda sama means song the samaveda is predominantly musical in nature and consists 1549 stanzas it has the rules of various accents and melodies atharvana veda atharva means procedures of every day life it contains 760 hymns and mantras and each of the veda has four parts what are they the samhita naradiya shukta of the rigveda describes the origin of the world and the big bang theory the parjanya shukta describes the process by which life is sustained on the planet the brahmana is a commentary on the four vedas detailing the proper performance of the rituals so the samhitas and the brahmanas are together called karma kanda then comes the aranyaka the rishis debated and discussed the significance of and the meanings of the rituals from various standpoints in their forest aranya aranya ashrams the upanishads also known as vedanta occurring towards the end of the vedas contain the essence of the knowledge of the vedas so these upanishads and aranyakas are together called as jnana kanda then comes the mahavakyas what are mahavakyas mahavakyas are the equation between the jivan and the brahman four of them 
one from each of the four vedas often mentioned as the mahavakyas they speak about the relation between jiva and atma first comes pragnanam brahma consciousness is brahman it comes from aitreya upanishad of the rigveda then comes aham brahmasmi i am brahman it comes from brihadarinyaka upanishad of the ajurveda then comes tattvamasi you are that it comes from chandokya upanishad of the samaveda i am atma brahma the atma is brahman it comes from mandukya upanishad of the atharvana